Could Micah Parsons actually be traded to the Bears? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. In this video, I wanted to address a rumor that has been going around Twitter and explain why I don't think it's as crazy as some people are making it out to seem. Said rumor in question, of course, is the fact that Micah Parsons will be traded to the Chicago Bears. Now, why are people talking about this? Why did this dominate Twitter today? Well, that's because C.D. Lamb signed a very lucrative extension, making him the second highest paid non-quarterback in NFL history with the Dallas Cowboys today. And as I've been saying for months, of the Cowboys' big three that needs to be paid, C.D. Lamb, Micah Parsons, and Dak Prescott, the Cowboys cannot afford to pay all three of them. And since they already chose to pay CD, and Dak plays the more important position of the two, I think now Micah Parsons is the odd man out. Now, of course, when you mention a player like Micah Parsons, of his status, uh, the likelihood that he gets traded is very slim. And I understand that. This video is not to convince you that it will happen. This video is to convince you that it absolutely could happen. But obviously, I'm not putting any bets on it. So, because of this, it does make a certain amount of sense to trade Michael Parsons because guess what? He'll never be cheaper and he'll never be younger, meaning they could get the maximum amount of value that they ever will for Michael Parsons right now. And then you look around the league and you think of some potential suitors, teams that are on the up and coming, teams that you know could use that extra little boost, teams that have been aggressive. And the Bears match that description, all right? It's no secret, Caleb Williams, Everybody around town, everybody in the national media thinks that he is that guy, right? They ended the year last year really good. They have some really good players. Micah Parsons would take this team up a whole nother level. And Ryan Poles, in his time as Bears general manager, has been very aggressive. That's the whole reason they have Caleb Williams in the first place. So I think the Bears, out of every single team, make the most sense to make a move for a guy like Micah Parsons. But you might be saying, there's no way they could do it. There's no way they could trade for a guy of this premium position, a guy who's been this dominant for so many years, and I would push back on that because just a few years ago, they did that exact thing. In 2018, the Bears made a deal for Khalil Mack from the uh, Raiders. I don't remember if they were the Vegas Raiders at that point, but they were the Raiders nonetheless. And listen, that kind of came from a very sim similar situation. Khalil Mack couldn't get an extension done with the Raiders. And so the Raiders said, all right, well, if we can't extend him, we might as well trade him to the Bears. Now, the Bears gave up a huge boatload of picks. They gave up a 2019 first round pick, a 2020 first round pick, a 2023rd, and a 2019 sixth round pick. But guess what? The Bears thought they were ready to go. They wanted that move to just get him up to that next level. And honestly, by itself, that trade worked out very well for Chicago. Khalil Mack was really, really good for a number of years. Um, after they made the trade, they promptly signed him to a six-year, $140 million contract extension, which you would also have to do for Michael Parsons. But the trade for Chicago worked out really well for in the micro, right? Uh, obviously, Trubisky and the offense weren't able to take him as far as they were able to go. But I think we all remember how good that 2018 Bears defense was. I mean, Khalil Mack was a force for many years for the Chicago Bears. And again, I think this is a thing where the Bears have the draft capital to make something happen. Here's what I would say could be a potential deal that the Bears could get done for Micah Parsons. Again, remember the Cowboys' financial situation. Remember the Bears' current situation where they're trying to go all in. The Bears are in a good financial situation because they're not paying Caleb Williams. Cowboys are about to pay Dak Prescott $60 million. But just hear this trade out for a second. I would have the Bears giving Dallas their 2025 first round pick, their 2026 first round pick, their 2025 second round pick. That's Carolina's. It's basically a, a late first, if we're being honest. And then either a 2026 sixth or Khalil Herbert, whichever the Cowboys prefer. I think, honestly, Khalil Herbert could be their starting running back. I think that would be a fair deal. Fair compensation for the Cowboys. I would immediately kickstart him. Um, and then you would have to sign Michael Parsons. He would definitely want to be paid more than Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa is making about $34 million right now. So give Michael Parsons $35 million a year over five years. Who gives a shit? It's Michael Parsons. Pair him with Montez Sweat on the other side. And all of a sudden, the Bears have the scariest pass rushing duo in the NFL. Maybe in the modern NFL. I mean, that would be insanely good. Now, you want to talk about supporting a young quarterback and getting, getting him the the defense he needs to succeed, this Bears defense would be nasty. Now, again, would the Cowboys want to deal Michael Parsons? No, obviously not, right? However, they're in a precarious position, a one that we really haven't seen before, where CD and Dak and Micah are all due for extensions, right? They paid CD already, about $34 million a year. Dak 
is going to cost sixty million dollars a year because they they're not going to go without Dak. They cannot go without a quarterback. It, it just it will not happen. CD Lamb, it, it's just not a good return on investment. If you're paying a receiver thirty four million dollars a year and you have a fucking Cooper Rush or a Trey Lance starting as your quarterback, it's not going to happen. Dak Prescott will get paid. So assuming Dak makes in the sixty million dollar range, that's ninety four million dollars a season you have for CD Lamb and Dak Prescott. You cannot add another 30-something million dollars a year for Michael Parsons. It, you just can't do it. And like I said, he'll never be cheaper. He'll never be younger. This is the time to trade Michael Parsons. Again, you're going to get a boatload of picks. A boatload of picks. At least two first. At least. The Bears, this is a move that you make to make yourselves Super Bowl contenders. If Caleb is the guy that we all think he is, they make this deal. They are Super Bowl contenders. Straight up. So again, I just wanted to make this video to point out the fact that I think the Bears absolutely could and should try to make a deal for Micah Parsons. And I think, honestly, if you're the Cowboys, given what you did this morning with C.D. Lamb, you're probably better off taking the deal from the Bears instead of trying to wait it, wait it out with Micah Parsons. Now, definitely squeeze the Bears a little bit. Don't say yes to the first offer. But whatever best offer you get from a team like the Bears or from, hell, even whatever, whatever team, I would take it. The Bears are in a position, they've set themselves up so well with this Caleb Williams trade. They have that extra early second round pick next year. They would absolutely throw that into a trade for a guy like Michael Parsons. And again, I think the Cowboys should do it and just get it done. But that's my thoughts on the Cowboys situation with Michael Parsons and if the Bears can make a move. Again, there's like a 1% chance this happens. But if it does, don't say I didn't tell you so. I think this move would be a move for the Bears that would seriously catapult them into the Super Bowl tier of teams. It would be some fun times in Chicago coming up. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. If Michael Parsons is a bear, you guys all owe me five bucks. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.